Well, he had a little bit of blood on his head, and uh, you know, it had a, a solid wipeout. So it's good to be safe out there. Get some flotation. That way, we'll keep an eye on him throughout this entire heat. But what a matchup this is! Talk about energy versus energy. Dina, with the advantage of priority right now, will have first choice. But Italo Ferreira is going to get the first wave. But it's going to be a nothing wave for Ferreira ejection. Um, I guess you know, well, there's no, there's no uh, here we go, Italo. Looks like. Oh, oh wow! It's still the the best trophy and the most respected trophy. I think so. Sort of see that uh, these guys are still doing this out there for, a, for the best trophy. I think in surfing, really uh, gauged his bottom turn just right. You saw that how all those little subtle moves he makes it look easy. But watch as he grabs the wall just for a second right there. So you know he drew straight towards the beach just so he could get deep uh, a little deeper. And that's not easy to do because you're basically putting yourself right next to the lip line. Watch as he does this little bottom turn right about there and then tucks in. The whole time he's just really trying to pull on the e-brake. And so he got himself nice and slotted right there. So all those little subtle moves, he makes it look easy. By Medina showing interest here. Pipeline knifes into this one. Big roomy pipeline barrel spits. And no exit for Medina. That surprised me. I thought he was on his way out. Ferreira, pipe. Knifes into this one, pulls up, traveling through the barrel. Easy exit for Ferreira. Adding some extra points for the car. Let's see what he has on this end sandbar section. And keeps it safe with a snap and a completion, but well served by Italo Ferreira. He's right back in the game. Definitely still in his heat. This is a 737. Different kind of wave. This was more old school. You know, he just sort of picked a line. He was nice and deep and just sort of squatted his way through it. Really nice hack, too. I love that first carve. I'm sure he would have gone to the air there, but that section laid flat, so it didn't give him the ramp he needed to go to the air. But look at that, just really deep. Didn't really have to do a whole lot. He just sat there and enjoyed it. Go hold the phone. Medina airdrops, gets his board underneath him, tucks into the barrel, exit, and a quick exit to regain position at the peak. And prior, this is the 5.6. Let's take another look. Oh, I mean, that was real technical. He fell out of the sky, reconnected. Uh, and when he connected, he knew. Nice line. Can he find an exit? No. But yeah. no harm, no foul. He's surfing underneath Gabe's priority. Sets hitting the reef just in time for the conclusion of semifinal number two. Medina uses priority. Now, what's he got for us? Okay, well, That's that was... non-factor. Door opens for Just Italo a... Ferreira. Ferreira, can he come back? Pulls in, driving barrel, warbly barrel. If he makes the exit, he's got it. Oh, you're kidding. Wow. Just that one little elbow in the wave that came off the soundbar killed it. Italo Ferreira coming and trying to have a buzzer beater, but it's not going to be the case. It's going to be Gabe Medina and John John Florence for the final Gnarly. of the Billabong Pipe Masters. Uh -huh.